hello everybody. Um, welcome to this uh, Pacific uh, uh, time zone opening session of the MRI Together workshop. I'm here with uh, Laura Bell. She will be the moderator of this uh, session for you. Uh, Laura has spent the last five years doing reproducibility driven perfusion research at the Barrow Neurological Institute in Arizona. This led her to co-found a community supported open source initiative for perfusion imaging, OZP, in 2018, which has grown to over 50 contributing scientists. She is driven by the collaborative nature of open science and the common vision to better science. She recently joined Genentech as a clinical imaging scientist. I have to say, I've had the pleasure of working with uh, Laura in this uh, last year on this workshop. And uh, I was uh, absolutely amazed by how motivated and driven she is. And uh, she was always able to uh, motivate the rest of the committee, even uh, when the times were difficult. So I will definitely miss uh, working with her once this workshop is over. Laura, you have the floor. Thank you, Francesco. You can always join us if you would like. Um, Francesco Santini, um, he, you just heard from him. He is a research group leader in muscle MRI at the university and at the University Hospital in Basel in Switzerland. Um, he is passionately committed to open science and to the free culture movement in general, leading and contributing to multiple open source software and hardware projects. He is currently the vice president of the ISMRM Reproducibility Research Study Group. Um, and then I can add too that working from working with Francesco in the last year, I can tell you that his personal values and his commitment to reproducibility are really ingrained in this workshop. And that includes the fun aspects that you will find. Um, and I just really appreciate it, your collaborative nature and easygoing personality traits that I think um, only benefit the open science community. So thank you. So this morning, we had our um, opening session in the Atlantic time zone, and um, Eva Schreiber, who is the ESMRMB president, opened with a few words. Um, unfortunately, because of the time zone, she can't be here today, but um, as we are an ESMRMB endorsed workshop, um, I would like her to say a few words. So we just added the recording from this morning that we'll play very briefly. Give me a second, I have to enable the sound. <laughs> oh, yeah. something. Um, thank you all. Dear colleagues and friends in MRI all over the world, dear ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure and honor to welcome you very warmly to this MRI Together Global Workshop. And I'd like to thank the organizers of giving me the opportunity to sharing a few thoughts with you. I am actually very proud that the ESMRMB can support this great initiative of this workshop. It is not only unique regarding content with fundamentally important topics on reproducibility and open science in MRI, spanning all the way from data formats to study design, pulse sequences, and image analysis, but also regarding the format, which allows the active participation of researchers from all time zones. Since almost two years now, we seem to be stuck in a very uncomfortable situation of a worldwide pandemic. It has been impossible, or at least very difficult, to personally share and discuss research. And there were even times during which research itself had to be paused due to critical situations in hospitals or due to home office or lockdowns. However, this unique global workshop is a sign that nothing can and will stop us from exchanging sharing and discussing. We will, we will always adapt to the surrounding conditions and we will always find ways to meet and bring science forward. I deeply thank all organizers for their motivation, for their initiative and for the great work in making this workshop possible. I thank all the speakers and participants for keeping science alive 
and bringing it to a new level by sharing their thoughts, methods and data and by making it reproducible and open. With that, I wish you exciting insights and talks during the next days. It is you who is making this workshop a success. So have fun. Thank you. Um, thank you all. Dear colleagues and friends. Okay, so I think it's fair to say that we're here because of the reproducibility crisis. It's a term that's been around for about a decade and a half now, and I would say it's a little less alarmist than it seemed initially. Um, oops, nope, don't do the poll yet. Sorry. <laughs> Can you head back to the other slide? Apologies. All right, so the reproducibility crisis. Um, it's a term that came around due to this highly cited 2005 article, um, why most published research fi uh, findings are false. Um, this article brought to light that the results from many scientific studies um, are difficult or unable to be reproduced. Um, and this finding potentially undermines the credibility of the scientific method, which is the foundation for how we acquire knowledge. Um, there's a lot more to say about this, but I suggest if you are interested in more details, you check out the recorded session from 12 hours ago. Um, so initially, most of the focus was in psychology. So we would ask, like, does it concern you? I would say yes. Um, so in MRI, there is this um, famous dead salmon study um, from 2009 and later in 2010. Um, and this was an fMRI study that showed the importance of correction for your multiple comparisons while doing statistical analysis. I would also say yes, when we talk about the social implications of the reproducibility crisis, um, there's this really interesting opinion article that came out this summer in Nature um, <clears throat> that suggests that the reproducibility crisis contributes to um, poor mental health in the sciences, especially in this article was um, focused on graduate students. Um, I would also add in my opinion that I think if we work together and improve the culture and provide tools to address the reproducibility crisis, that the attrition rate of marginalized populations in academia could also be improved. So I'd like to leave you um, with a quote from this article that says issues um, and reproducibility must be addressed, not just for the well-being of science as a process, but for the well-being of scientists as people. So with that, we have our first poll. Um, we would love to know what is your experience with open and reproducible science. So you can go ahead and share that. Um, it's multiple choice. You can select as many options as you want. Um, and this, I think, will be helpful for the speakers who are talking today. See. Go ahead and show some results, please. Oh, wow. Get the pre-registration, 33%. Um, so we're looking at releasing software or hardware as open source. Looks like the most common, but a pretty good spread across um, all, all the um, categories we put in. That's great. Thank you close the poll and then we can move on. Um, so just a quick background, MRI together, why did we pick this name? Um, we believe that science is better when it's shared and this can be done through sharing of results. So through unbiased publication, um, sharing of methods and data, um, open source and open data, and then sharing of knowledge, um, which can only increase accessibility. And we believe that if we can do this together, we can increase inclus inclusivity, diversity and accessibility within the MR field. So at this point, uh, oh, sorry. So I just wanna point out that we are many, this is the first edition of this workshop. We are um, spanning four different time zones. Uh, we have 12 sponsors. There are 15 posters. I highly recommend that you pop on to our digital world and check them out. We have 20 sessions over the next few days. Uh, we have over 32 countries of um, participants. This is not all re fully representative, only 50% of registrations. Um, had their country of origin. Uh, we have over 100 speakers and moderators, and we have um, 600 people who have registered for this attend. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, 600 people who have registered for this um, workshop. 
So here's another poll. So getting to know each other. Um, we would love to hear where you are um, from today. And this just also helps us for our demographics since the Zoom demographics are not always um, reliable during registration. Um, I should also note too that we are using UN classifications and there are too many categories, put them all into one question. Um, so question one and two is the same question with different regions listed. And then lastly, what stage of career are you in? He's sneakily added a question since this morning. So there is also a oh. question in this poll now. Okay, <laughs> thank you. And which career path are you as well? Exactly. Yeah. So I think we can go some... ahead and check the results. Yeah. North America, maybe not too surprising. <laughs> you see some Central Western European, some late birds, Australia and New Zealand. <clears throat> A lot of trainee early career, it's wonderful. Um, and majority academic scientists are here. All right, thank you. We'll go ahead and close that. Okay, uh, should I? Yeah. Um, you wanna... Yes, uh, I would like to uh, give you a brief overview of our workshop, how it's organized. Uh, um, every, all the information about uh, the program is available on our website. Uh, I know it's a bit overwhelming because we actually have uh, a lot of sessions. As you have noticed, uh, this is the second uh, opening session, uh, which is uh, given 12 hours after the first one that we had this morning or uh, midday for me in Europe. And uh, uh, apart from the opening and closing sessions, we also have, uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, um, parallel sessions uh, focused on different topics, uh, which are data, basic reproducibility, and so on. Uh, these parallel sessions are um, exploring the same topic in two, in two different time zones that are 12 hours apart. So you will have, for example, in session A1, you will have uh, ethics and practices for data sharing. This is given uh, um, at seven in the morning for uh, my time zone. And then uh, um, other speakers are going to explore the same topic uh, after 12 hours to uh, serve the other side. Uh, of the world. At the same time as session A1, session A2 is also taking place, and so you can uh, you can choose which one you want to attend. Uh, during the um, during the session, after approximately one hour, there is a social break. Uh, we will see it in a moment, uh, hosted by uh, the platform ITMD, and uh, uh, the two sessions will have the social break together, so it's a good occasion for you to uh, check out the, the platform, mingle, check out the posters, and so on. So um, after talking about sessions, let's uh, have a look, quick look at our last poll uh, of uh, today uh, to have a look what your expectations are. Uh, so here we would like to know uh, with uh, uh, what mind you came to this workshop and what kind of topics are of highest interest for you. Hopefully you already had a look at the program, uh, uh, then you will be able to uh, know a little bit about the content of these sessions, but uh, it's of course not required. So you can uh, now explore and uh, discover what we have in store for you in the next couple of days. Okay. Did everybody had the chance have the chance to reply to the poll? Sana will decide when enough quest enough answers are in. Okay, I think uh, like this morning we had a lot of uh, 
uh, word of mouth uh, advertisement for this event. And uh, again, I'm really glad to see that uh, a lot of people are uh, interested in basically every topic that we are going to offer. So I hope uh, that we will meet your expectations and I hope that you are going to enjoy these, uh, these sessions uh, and uh, the upcoming workshops. Okay, uh, just a, a couple of words about our uh, social break uh, uh, environment. Uh, as you can see, it's a very nice fancy 3D environment that you're free to explore. Uh, the, it's reachable at this uh, uh, link, uh, bit.ly MRA Together Social, uh, or uh, on our website, uh, it's uh, uh, linked in multiple, in multiple places uh, from the homepage and also from uh, uh, the program page itself. Um, you have this nice 3D avatar that you can customize uh, and uh, you will be landing here on the ground floor. And uh, on the upper floor, then you can explore the, uh, our nice posters uh, uh, and uh, the poster presenters will, uh, will also hang around and uh, hopefully talk to you about the posters. On the ground floor, we will have our sponsor representative, our platform sponsor representatives. So please stop by and have a chat. And uh, uh, if you would like to uh, see the previous presentations, uh, at the very end on the right, there is a presentation uh, booth where uh, as soon as uh, we uh, have the videos post-processed, you will have a link to our YouTube channel. And uh, uh, on the uh, top floor, we also have some nice uh, meeting, uh, meeting rooms or lounges where you can sit down with your colleagues uh, and uh, discuss or just uh, uh, chat uh, uh, during the breaks. In our on our website, uh, we also have a job board. Uh, you can uh, link it directly from the homepage, uh, and uh, we already have some uh, open positions listed. Uh, if you are a job seeker or if you are offering a job, uh, uh, then uh, visit the job board uh, and. Uh, uh, if you want to add an, uh, an announcement uh, and make a pull request on our GitHub repository, it's relatively easy. You just have to modify the page and then uh, we will just accept the change and it will appear uh, listed in the open positions or in the uh, job seekers entry, depending on what you are. And uh, now we are in the thank you area. First of all, uh, we would like to thank the whole organizing committee. Uh, Laura and I had the pleasure of uh, working with uh, all of them. Uh, Sanam uh, is our technical host today um, and uh, Emma and uh, Maxim um, helped us really put together this fantastic program and also sort out all the technical details because this uh, whole workshop was uh, really an intense labor of love because we managed to really put it together uh, basically by ourselves. And uh, uh, we couldn't do it without the great support uh, of our advisors, uh, Stephen Surbron specifically. He was the driving force behind all of it, uh, and uh, he has been providing ideas and motivation all the way. And the same uh, goes for Edwin and uh, Oslam, uh, who were uh, always supportive and uh, our great liaison with the ESMRMB. Uh, talking of ESMRMB, uh, we had a fantastic home there. Uh, the whole board was very supportive. Uh, Professor Scheurer, we heard from her this morning, but also the past president, Andrew Webb, and everybody was uh, extremely welcoming and open to our crazy ideas. Um, the same goes for the sponsors. So we were amazed that we had such a good response from so many companies that uh, uh, gave us confidence and uh, uh, the funding necessary to keep this workshop uh, open to everybody. Um, we also had a number of supporting attendees. We would like to thank all of them. Uh, these are not uh, all because some of them decided uh, not to show their names, but we are really grateful because thank you to, our, to your support that uh, this was really made possible. And uh, uh, the workshop would not be there without the fantastic speakers. I am personally amazed that so many people uh, that uh, I consider being in the Olympus of uh, science uh, uh, just responded yes when we uh, wrote an email, uh, whereas I would have imagined that uh, our uh, communication would have been spam filtered. Instead, we re received an enthusiastic response by all of them. And of course, uh, uh, the biggest thank you goes to all your 
all of you, uh, the audience, because of course uh, it wouldn't be a workshop without an audience. Uh, and we are amazed that so many of you uh, registered enthusiastically and we are really looking forward to providing the best content for all of you. So thank you very much. And uh, now I give the word back to Laura who will introduce our speakers.